Have you ever wanted to create your very own ASCII art text? Well, in this video, I will show you how in Python using the PyFiglet library. And we're starting right now. So the PyFiglet library will essentially be generating ASCII art text, which is similar to the one provided on this website. And so you can see here that the large characters are essentially made out of ordinary characters, as you can see here, like a bunch of zeros or O and eight dot parentheses, etc., or even hashtag that are weaved together to generate this amazing ASCII art text. And there's a huge collection of font examples that you can see here. Some fonts include 3D, three by five. Some are a bit thicker. Some are hollow, like this one. Okay, so these are some of the examples of the ASCII art text that we will be creating today. And so let's jump right in. So I'll provide the links to this Google Colab Acid Jupyter Notebook. And so the links will be provided in the video description. And so the first thing that you want to do is install the PyFiglet library. And we're going to be using pip install in order to do that. And so it might take a short moment as the server is being spin up. All right. And so it's installing. And so it is now successfully installed. And now we're going to be importing the figlet underscore format function from the pyfiglet library. And so the magic lies in this particular function, figlet format. And so let's generate some text using as input coding professor and the font we will be using the standard font. Let's run it. And so you can see in the following output, the text is not legible and it is containing the backslash N, which represents the new line. And so in order to make it into a legible form, you have to use the print function. So let's do that. All right, much better. And so this is the standard font. And as mentioned previously, there's a large collection in here in the font examples. So if you see one that you like, you just copy the name. Like for example, if you want three by five, copy the name and then put it here and run it. And then you get the resulting output. Okay, I'll revert it back. All right, and let's have a look at cyber medium. Okay, very simplistic. Okay, so this also looks nice. This is a bit wide, so I had to cut out the name professor and just use the word coding. And how about the isometric? This is three dimensional. So you can see here that it is a three dimensional block letters. They are C, O, D, E. But then let's say that you want to use this following text in your own text files. So let me show you how. You could write it out as a text file. So first create the F variable, which will essentially be assigning the open function and then the name of the output file. And then we're going to assign that to the F variable. And then the contents of the file will be the following. We we'll create a variable called text, and then we're going to be using the figlet format function as used above. And then we're going to be using the standard font type, and then the text message will be coding professor. And then we're going to use the f.write, and then we're assigning the text variable as the input argument. And then we close it up by f.close, and then we'll get the output text file. So let's run the cell. In order to see the output text file, you have to click on the file icon here on the left panel. And then it will expand and then you will see this output.txt file. If you want to see a preview of the contents of this file, you could double click on it. And then to the right panel, you see the resulting output file. Okay, and then you could download this particular file by moving the mouse so that it hovers onto the three dotted line here. And then you want to click on it and then click on download. Okay, and now it will download to your computer. And now this is the output text file of the generated ASCII art text. And so you could use this as a footer in your email signature, like 
for example, you say like best regards and then your name, right? Instead of saying like coding professor or something like that, you'll be able to use this awesome ASCII art text. All right. So if you would like to have it on separate lines, you could generate the word coding first and then in another file, generate the word professor. Here, let me show you how. So copy that block of code and then generate only one word, coding. And then you could name the output to be coding. Run it. And then let's check out the code.txt file. Okay, so it contains only the word coding. Now let's create another one, professor. And then to refresh it, we click on this icon. All right, and then let's have a look at the contents. Okay, perfect. Let's download it. Download. Coding, all right, and then let's download the professor text. All right, so let's copy the text here. And then you could put it underneath here like that. Okay. If you're finding value in this video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And so until next time, happy coding.